fantastic. I'm, I'm mounting inside. I've got a little drip tray under each armpit, and it just goes down the back and out. So you can take mine still with him. I'll do your on that. Unbelievable. You couldn't even think of one reason. This is lovely. We shouldn't complain. It's like Los Angeles, your second home. It's like, it's better than Los Angeles because I'm only a mile down the road. Los Angeles, I have to take a plane. So, uh, this is very true, and a basic fact. Now, talking of basics, the reason you're here tonight is because of one very basic human being, Carl Pilkington. That's a pleasure to externally say. Carl Pilkington. He's basic. <laughs> yes. I had to persuade him to let Sky enter it. To even. He went, no, I don't want to. No. He said, he, he said he'd be full of idiots. <laughs> How did he know? The irony was not lost on him, clearly. He didn't call me today, though. He's not coming? No. He didn't even know. He didn't even ask me about this. He, um, he told me that he'd heard a story that some chicks, right, are coming out of the egg in the chicken because they don't want to be born as an egg because they know they get eaten. He believed this. He went, look it up. He said, Google it. Google it. You Google it. When, when Rissy says to you, oh, Carl's coming round, she go out. No, I love Carl and Suzanne. I'm always very happy when they come round. Suzanne! <laughs> <laughs> Can you not put Suzanne on screen? Because I think we want to see the woman that lives with Carl. Yeah, well, it's like a mystery. Carl, Carl I think, is like Columbo. You never actually see her. Yeah. 